Welcome to this week's Tech Tip. Today we are going to talk about Nearpod. Nearpod is a way to present information to students in your classroom. Nearpod is also, has also been purchased by Miller Middle School for the use of all of our teachers. Through Nearpod, you can do many things to create lessons that are engaging for your students. So let's talk about, um, let's talk about our Explore tab here. Everyone in Miller, every teacher at Miller has an, a login so that you can log in and you can see all of the different lessons that Nearpod has already created. Nearpod has lots and lots of things you can use with students um, that are already ready to go. Um, and then you, but you can also create your own. So when you create your own, there's a whole bunch of different things you can do here. You can create your lesson and you can drop in slides. Um, you can drag and drop as well as create your own here. Um, but one of the things that you can do also as you create your slides, and it'll give you, they even give you another video if you really want to see that. You can add content. So you can add all kinds of different content that they offer, including um, FET simulations, which is rather new, um, and uh, virtual reality field trips as well, as well as Nearpod 3D, which they're just trying. You can add web content to uh, one of your slides so that the kids can click on that. And you can add an activity. And personally, for me, I love the activity because you can give a few slides of information, ask an open-ended question, do a poll or a quiz, or even have the kids draw something, and um, or do a fill-in-the-blank or a memory test. So some of these things, you have already seen these if you are a content area teacher or even if you are not and you have gone to Bob's digital citizenship lessons. He is doing these all through Nearpod, and I know that he's modified these lessons. But this is a program to help us with not only presentation, but even formative assessment. So it's just a great way to engage your students. It's highly interactive as well as um, engaging for the students. And it even allows you to, through Nearpod, once you have the lesson done, it even allows you to have a report from a student so that you can go back and look and see exactly how they did. Um, you can also go back to uh, show it, create a report for, for students to use. So you can click on a live lesson, you can share it through Google Classroom, um, as well as just as well as just see what the students have done. So some great information here. Um, there is a lot of things here with Nearpod that you can see. You can, you can edit your, the current lesson, you can duplicate it, and you can make it your own so that you have exactly what you need in your lesson. Um, and then here is an example of a lesson that is all opened up and ready to go, ready for you to modify so that you can, you know, make it your own lesson. And I am going to also show you one more thing. I am going to show you how to look at your classes. A, a Nearpod is just like a Kahoot in that they're going to type in a code. Every Nearpod has a code. And what you can do is you can go to reports once your students do a Nearpod, complete a Nearpod. And you can look at, let's go to, and it will show you what your students have done. It'll show you just a general overview of what they've done, including grades and all those kinds of things. It'll tell you specifics on the students. So I did a lot of what would you rather do, things like that open-ended where they give me the answers and the draw it they even show you a little picture of the drawing and so and through these you can print them out as uh, you can download and print it out as a pdf and share it with students and their parents um, but it's a great way to do some formative assessment that's interactive as well as uh, just jam-packed with information so thank you for tuning into this week's Tech Tip.
if you have any questions about Nearpod, you feel free to see me or Mr. Hilberson. Thank you.